<laughs> what's going on? <laughs> oh, hee <laughs> hee. Anyway, so I've had this zero water filter now uh, for over a year, I think. Just over a year. Done a couple of videos on it. And up until a few weeks ago, I've had no issues with it at all. Um, however, a lot of people complain about a fishy smell. And I've never had this with a zero water filter. And that was until recently. Uh, so I went to take a drink of water and pulled my water out, as you do. Uh, took a little sip and I was like, what the deuce? <laughs> it smelled of fish. It wasn't massively strong, but it smelled of fish. And I'd only had the filter in for probably about two months. Now my last filter lasted for ages, about eight months, without any issues at all. So I was like, why is this filter uh, lasted only two months. Maybe it's a dodgy filter. I don't know. So I got I got to do some more research into this fishy smell. So unlike other carbon filters, which remove about fifty to ninety percent of the contaminants, zero water filter uses ion exchange technology, which removes at nearly a hundred percent of all the contaminants. So how the hell does this work? I had to look it up on a website. I'm going to try and read it out to you so you can understand it. <laughs> The ion exchange resin consists of organic polymers that form a network throughout which there are lots of ion exchange sites. At these sites, there are either positively charged ions, cations, or negatively charged ions, anions. No, anion. N not that, anion. These cations and anions contain hydrogen and hydroxide. Every time a cation or anion pulls a contaminant ion from your tap, it replaces it with hydrogen or hydroxide ion. And when hydrogen and hydroxide combine with each other, they form pure water, H2O. But as perfect as this technology appears, there is one possible problem. Cations and anions degrade and decompose over time. Like almost everything else degrades, think vegetables, cooking oil, iron, water, and so on. This is fine in the case of cations. All that can happen is that they might stop working. But as a byproduct of their decomposition, anions release trimethylamine, the same compound that is produced when dead fish flesh decomposes. Trimethylamine, like rotten fish, is extremely difficult to wash off plastic. So if you replace your filter too late, you will have to take the whole pitcher apart, wash it with normal dishwashing soap, not bleach, rinse it dry with a paper towel, repeat this process several times and put it back together with a new filter. So now we know why the filter can smell a fish. But why did it happen so fast on my second filter? Why did my first filter last so much longer? There has been a study that shows anions the ones that, when it degrades, smell of fish, degrade a lot faster in heat and sunlight. Well, what's happened in the UK recently? A heat wave. We had temperatures of 35 degrees Celsius, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, but it stayed in that for weeks on end. And I had my, I had my zero uh, water filter sat by the window where it always has sat, in direct sunlight in that heat. So that explains why my filter was smelling of fish and why the filter didn't last as long because it's in direct sunlight and in heat, which degrades the anions. I remember anion, not anion, anion, <laughs> okay? And uh, so now I know what, what, what's causing it, I now keep um, my filter in the refrigerator, keep it cool, Keep it out of direct sunlight, keep it from heat. Now, I have noticed that a lot of the, a lot of, uh, the comments I've received uh, from one of my other videos saying about the smell of fish and, you know, I, I, I had no problem with it, are from places which are very hot. So it is possible, I, I'm only second guessing here, it is possible that these people whose filters didn't last as long are from quite hot areas uh, and kept it out in the heat and that's why it didn't last as long. Also, uh, it does state in this article that um, uh, 
chlorine or chloramines, and uh, chloramine, I think, is what's when they combine ammonia with chlorine, and then you put that in your tap water to keep it clean. The higher the content of chlorine or chloramines in your tap water, that also degrades the filter faster. So it might be worthwhile checking how much chlorine is in your tap water. We're lucky here in Wales in the UK that the chlorine is kind of only about 0.5, 0.6 parts per million, which is minute amounts. Um, not a lot at all. So that's why the filter didn't degrade before because of the chlorines. My filter degraded because of the flipping heat. So now I'm going to keep it clean, keep it out of direct sunlight, keep it out of heat. Okay, keep it in the fridge. And one thing I will say as well, you know, how many people actually clean this weekly? You know, you've got to make sure you keep this clean. Like any other uh, receptacle you use, if you don't wash it out, it's going to get bacteria in it. That can also cause a smell and, and dirty and cause the filter not to last as long. So make sure that once a week you're taking this apart, stripping it down and giving it a good clean. And then rinse it out thoroughly, put it back together and then use it again. So there you are. That's the mystery of why it smells of flipping fish. And now I've discovered that, hopefully my next filter will last a bit longer. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope that's helped. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next video.